The Academy Awards Ceremony, aka the Oscars, will be aired on February 9, 2020 in the Dolby Theatre in Hollywood, Los Angeles, California, a bit earlier than the usual late February date, with names like Martin Scorsese, Quentin Tarantino and Sam Mendes going for a Best Director Award, or Robert De Niro, Leonardo DiCaprio and Joaquin Phoenix in a race for the Best Actor Award, it is sure to make many of us try and speculate about who just might win this year. So, this is our take on the top 10 Oscar favourites. You're very popular. I just try to be myself. Whenever I try to be myself, people don't seem to like me very much. Starting off the list, we have The Two Popes. Director Fernando Morales is taking us on a journey behind the Vatican walls in this Netflix biographical drama about two popes. The liberal Pope Francis, played by Jonathan Price, and his predecessor, the conservative Pope Benedict, played by Sir Anthony Hopkins, indulging in conversation in order to try and figure out a new way for the Catholic Church. Possible Best Picture nomination is in order, but what makes this movie an Oscar favourite is the two main actors and their performances, an astonishing cinematography with a remarkable recreation of the Sistine Chapel. So in that order, Best Actor, Jonathan Price, Best Supporting Actor, Sir Anthony Hopkins. Best Adapted Screenplay and Best Cinematography Awards are among the ones that this movie can actually take home. Yes. I cannot play this role anymore. The world is a bad place. People are lazy morons. Minorities are criminals. Sex is sick but interesting. Up next, we have Bombshell. With this amazing cast, Charlize Theron, Nicole Kidman, Margot Robbie and John Lithgow as Roger Alias, Bombshell is a story about a group of women who decide to speak up about the toxic atmosphere on the workplace on the account of Roger Alias, a Fox News head in charge. Margot Robbie delivers an amazing performance as Kayla Pospisil, so much so that rumours are this should be one of the roles considered for the best supporting actress. The Ron and Kidman are on their peak, but what is truly remarkable about their roles is the incredible makeup and costumes that make The Ron and Kidman look and sound almost exactly like the characters they are portraying. On that note, it is a pretty good guess that this movie will be going for a best makeup and hairstyling, best actress for Charlize Theron, best supporting actress for Margot Robbie, and best picture award. Bombshell is directed by Jay Roach and is scheduled for release on December 20, 2019. Nobody stops watching because of a conflict. They stop watching when there isn't one. Mr. Ford, Ferrari has a message for you, sir. What did he say? He said Ford makes ugly little cars in an ugly factory. Coming in at number eight is Ford vs. Ferrari. Ford vs. Ferrari is a real-life based movie about two big car companies, Ford and Ferrari, and Ford's effort to beat the Ferrari at the 24-hour Le Mans in 1966. Car designer Carol Shelby and driver Ken Miles are two main characters, a duo set to build a race car for said race in order to challenge Ferrari. The cast is a strong asset for this movie, with Matt Damon, Kristen Bale, John Berthnell and Tracy Letts as Henry Ford II. With Kristen Bale's performance as unpredictable Ken Miles, a wild car driver, which gives him high stakes in taking home Best Supporting Actor nomination and a possible win. The cinematography car race scenes, which by some accusations have no CGI, an engaging story are sure to make Ford vs Ferrari a run for Best Picture, Best Director, Best Cinematography and Best Original Screenplay. <laughs> This piece will be for an issue about heroes. Do you consider yourself a hero? No, not at all. Next on the list is A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood. Sony's A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood is based on the true story of a real-life friendship. It's set around Lloyd Vogel, a journalist for Esquire, who was assigned to profile beloved television icon Fred Rogers through an interview. Played by Matthew Rhys, the journalist is the true main character of the movie, contrasting from a popular belief that Tom Hanks as Fred Rogers is the main character. And with that in mind, Tom Hanks is believed to have a chance to take the Best Supporting Actor Award and Matthew Rhys going for Best Actor Award in an already strong category. Agree. The movie is directed by Marielle Heller, earning her a possible Best Director Award is all to be considered when this movie is around. Roll sound. Daniel, you set? I'm set. Thank you, Daniel. Did she just talk to the puppet? Please stop talking. Charlie and I are getting a divorce, Mom. You can't be friends with him anymore. Gee, Mom! Charlie Bird! <laughs> Mom! <laughs> Mom? <laughs> Mom! What? Coming in at number six is Marriage Story. 
Scarlett Johansson and Adam Driver, under the director Noah Birnbach, have given us one of the greatest performances this year, with both of them being highly considered to take a Best Actress and Best Actor award. Following the two main characters comes the name of Laura Dern, going on a race for a Best Supporting Actress. The director-writer Noah Birnbach will have his fingers crossed for the categories of Best Picture, Best Director and possible others. A movie about a marriage breakup and the family trying to stay together despite it. It's an emotional story with well-written dialogues, characters and great cinematography. I thought we should talk. I don't know how to start. Hey! You're Rick fucking Dalton. Don't you forget it. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood comes in at number 5. Quentin Tarantino is a name for itself, and his ninth movie, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, is one big nod to a classic Hollywood beauty. A movie about a struggling television actor, played by Leonardo DiCaprio, trying to achieve fame in a movie industry during the final years of Hollywood's golden age, in 1969 Los Angeles, with the help of his stunt double Cliff Booth, played brilliantly by Brad Pitt. It may not win the Best Picture Award, but it is still cleverly written and beautifully directed and shot, which gives Once Upon a Time in Hollywood a fighting chance in the categories of Best Original Screenplay and Best Production Design. Margot Robbie is wonderful as Sharon Tate, and she could be considered for the Best Supporting Actress Award. Tarantino will unquestionably be considered for a Best Director Award, and at last, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood has a chance of getting nominated for a Best Picture Award. That was the best acting I've ever seen in my whole life. Thank you. Up next is Little Women. From all the movies mentioned today, Little Women is one having arguably the strongest cast out there. Meryl Streep, Saoirse Ronan, Timothy Clamay, Florence Pugh and Emma Watson. And their performances in this story about four sisters in a post-Civil War America will surely be celebrated. It is an adaptation of Louisa May Alcott's novel of the same name, directed by Greta Gerwing, ensuring herself the Best Director nomination, along with Best Adapted Screenplay, Best Costume Design, Best Production Design and best original score, from the mentioned cast we have Saoirse Ronan, a major threat to any woman hoping to get a Best Actress award with her brilliant and emotional performance of Jo March. I intend to make my own way in the world. No one makes their own way. Least of all a woman. You'll need to marry well. But you are not married, aren't you? Well, that's because I'm rich. Your orders are to deliver a message calling off tomorrow morning's attack. If you don't, we will lose 1,600 men. Coming in at number three is 1917. 1917 is a movie set on the brink of the First World War, a story about two British privates who are given an impossible mission to deliver a message deep into an enemy's land in order to prevent around 1,600 men from walking straight into the death trap. Directed by Sam Mendes, critically acclaimed director of American Beauty, for which he got a Best Director Academy Award, will be filled with great cinematography patriotism. The story is about a family in the middle of the Great War, because one of the two protagonists has a brother among the men they are trying to save. The cast of the movie again has some great names like Benedict Cumberbatch, Colin Firth, Mark Strong, Richard Madden and Andrew Scott. Begin the war movie, our predictions are that 1917 will be a strong contestant in the following categories. Best sound mixing, best sound editing, best cinematography and for a major category like best picture, best director Sam Mendes and best original screenplay. There is only one way this ends. Last man standing. <laughs> In the runner-up spot, at number two, is my personal favourite, Joker. Is it just me, or is it getting crazier out there? Since the first news got out about this movie getting an eight-minute standing ovation at the Venice Film Festival in August, the Joker has been surrounded with massive hype and praises. Director Todd Phillips, formerly best known for his success with the Hangover trilogy, has provided an origin story for Batman's greatest enemy. The psychological drama is dark and unsettling, with Joaquin Phoenix delivering a mesmerising performance as Arthur Fleck, a struggling, hard-working comedian wannabe living with his mother in a small apartment on the shady side of town. Mistreated, abused and degraded by society, he slowly falls into madness and develops his new alter ego, Joker. The movie has been getting acclaims and admirations from audiences around the world for its dark tone and gritty atmosphere, to the dazzling Phoenix performance making him a people's champion in the Oscar race. If Phoenix doesn't win, we riot meme. Best actor, best picture, adapted screenplay, cinematography, original score are all categories in which this film has a chance to triumph. This list is long and this movie deserves it in full. When you bring me out, can you introduce me as Joker? 
Hello? Is that Frank? Yes. Hiya, Frank. This is Jimmy Hoffa. And finally, at number one, we have The Irishman. It seems that Netflix has had an extraordinary year. Another movie coming from the streaming service giant has been celebrated as a big favourite in all major Oscar categories. It's no wonder. The cast and crew serve as an assurance of quality. Martin Scorsese, a living legend, known for a variety of successful movies, both with audiences and critics. The rest of the ensemble is made by Oscar winners too. You have Robert De Niro, Al Pacino, Joe Pasecki, etc. A movie about a mob hitman who recalls his past years working for the Buffalo crime family has a chance of becoming this year's most nominated movie, with big awards such as Best Picture, Best Director for Martin Scorsese, Best Actor for Robert De Niro, and Best Supporting Actors for Al Pacino and Joe Pasecki. All that being said is what makes The Irishman our number one Oscar favourite movie. All we have to do now is sit tight and wait for the Oscars. So what do you think of our list? Hope you liked this video. Feel free to leave a comment on what you like or think should have made it on the list. And also comment down below if there's any particular video that you want me to make. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to never miss my new uploads. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on the TV Regent.